Pitt assistant coach Matt Coker. Matt, former All-American here. Yeah. What place do you take? Uh, fifth. Fifth at 57, right? Yep. 2007 All-American. Yep. Okay. You are from State College, Pennsylvania. Talk Happy about bad. the journey, man. Talk about the journey. You went back home. What did you do for a year? Uh, yeah, I graduated from Pitt in 2008, went back home. I worked for Chad Dubin at Lionheart uh, MMA. I did worked with them as far as administration with the with his company and then also training fighters and wrestling and working out with them a little bit and then I coached in my high school state college high so and you dabbled in fighting a little bit that was sort of accidentally my, me fighting like when I got back I mean I remember I did an interview with you <clears throat> right when I got back to state college and, and you asked me if I was gonna fight and I told you no meanwhile a month later I'm in the octagon you know so yeah it was kind of accidental I mean what happened was we <clears throat> we're starting Chad was starting you know his business and every once in a while a promoter would call and be like hey do you have a 170 pounder or whatever you know and I think I'm too stupid to say no so I jumped <laughs> in and that's how that happened but. talk about that fight I filmed it actually talk about yeah. your first fight you actually got knocked out on your yeah. feet but you, but you like you battled through it man talk about that fight yeah MMA is something you kind of want to make sure you're ready to do I think you don't want to just jump in because not only are you gonna lose but you can get you can get hit but uh yeah, I was probably like the first minute into it. <clears throat> I got hit with one punch, boom, almost went down, and then the same punch came and hit me again. Needless to say, I need to work on my striking, but I went down, <laughs> and I like fell, he threw legs in, he's hitting me, thank God I know how to wrestle a little bit, and just kept, I mean, I was, you know, I didn't know what was going on. It was like being blindfolded while someone threw rocks at you, you know, it was like, you know, I was pretty much out. I'm surprised the ref didn't call it, but I, I came back and was able to finish. Would you throw boots fight. in and just pound him? Yeah, I ended up throwing boots in, double boots, and just hit him until they stopped it. So I remember that. It was crazy because yeah. we talked after it, and you were like, oh, man, I'm rocked a little bit. But <laughs> you, 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 nonetheless, you fought through And then you said yeah. you fought again, right? I fought again. I actually, <clears throat> then, like, kind of same situation. Um, a professional promoter, someone backed out, and we had one of our other guys, Biff Wallizer, was fighting. So they needed someone to fill in at 170. So, yeah, I said, Biff. yeah, this was... Biff's an All-American at Penn State. He's an All-American, yeah, and he was fighting for Lionheart, so Biff was in, on the card, so they were scrambling looking for a 170-pounder. This was on a Wednesday. The fight was on Saturday. I said, yeah, I'd do it, you know, so I, I jumped in, and uh, I did okay first round. It's a five-minute round, and then, I don't know, you know, I got nervous, and uh, I didn't exactly know what to do. It wasn't, I didn't really have, I didn't go with the corner man. I went by myself, and, oh, you know, man. it was not a bad plan, not a good plan, you know, so. All right, let's talk about coming back here then. You are from State <coughs> College, and you came back to Pitt here where you were an All-American. Coach Stoudemire was saying some amazing things about you the other day. He said he is a guy who he's got enough separation with the guys. Some of these guys are your teammates. Yeah. A lot absolutely. of these guys are your teammates. Yeah, a lot of them. But he yeah. said you got enough separation where you're getting the respect and you're pushing guys. Talk about, you know, that, that separation that you're getting as a coach uh, as opposed to being a, a competitor with them. I think, yeah, I think the year helped me, honestly, than, than jumping straight into it just because, like you said, the separation's easy. You know, I, I'm on the other side. I'm a coach, and it was easy to separate myself. I mean, there's still guys that I was friends with, you know, Ethan Headley, Ryan Tomei, Tyler Nauman I was on team with, you know, those guys, but I know them well. But it's still, we still have a coach-athlete relationship, which is not just a teammate now, you know. So I think it was, it was definitely helpful to take a year off. You look like you're still in tip-top condition. Can you still beat pretty much everyone on the team? <laughs> I, uh, I don't tangle with Tomei too much. And then our, our 97 pounder, AJ Hunt, he's a beast too. But yeah, I wrestle. I try and wrestle every day. And then if I got a little excuse, I won't wrestle. You know, that's the nice part about being out. You know, if something's tweaked, you sit out a day instead of pushing through. So, but yeah, I wrestle as much as I can. What brought you back here? I know uh, Keith is training. Yeah. And, they, and that kind of put him in the Lehigh Valley. Uh, I think that's who he's training with, right? Yep, Levi, Lehigh Valley. Yeah. And then that brought you in. I mean, how, how did this all come to be? Did Coach Stoudemire call you? Um, yeah, so actually when I graduated, I was planning on stepping into this position. And um, then Dubin called me for Lionheart. And I was talking to my, you know, my fiance and I made a decision to move back home. Um, something we both kind of wanted to do. And, um, you know, a year later, Keith wasn't he needed to train you know he wasn't a, at his point in his career he needed to train and focus on being the best wrestler he could be so he was going to leave and I knew that he had kind of gave me the heads up and then Stoudemire called me one day and and told and told me there was a position available and I just I couldn't pass on it twice so I'm excited to come back all right you got anything else for me that's it hail to pit all right hey thanks for the time and uh I can't wait to see when we come back to the campus tour yeah hopefully you're involved yeah I'll be around all right thanks for thanks time. Deb